What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Mon Bazoo. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated, especially on a day like today. I'll fill you in here in just a sec. Well, this is just fantastic. Absolutely just the icing on the cake for me today, you guys. Unreal. Uh, I was just recording for about two hours. It was it was a real it was a real good one. Okay, it was a real real good one. And I've started another recording because I guess my hard drive was full. And unfortunately, when that happens, Streamlabs doesn't know what to do with your existing recording, and so it gets rid of it. It just completely rejects it. And so here we are. Uh, two hours into a recording that you guys can't see, I can't even see for that matter. And um, we're planting plants. We are planting plants, dude. We're trying to go green today. And I, I really had like the best plan ever. Actually, let me walk you guys through exactly what happened uh, during the initial two hours of my first recording. I guess, what a bummer, man. What an actual, I'm not even done with the uh, watering just yet. So what I've done thus far, as you can see, we used to have a little tiny field here. I think it was like 30 plants or something really, really minuscule. That is now gone, okay? Over here, we had 150, 160 plots. I can't remember exactly. This is now 300. All right, and then over here, we have two additional plots. This one is 100, this one is 100. So now we have 500 total plots. I did already finish one harvest. So we've got the truck pretty well loaded up. I can't remember exactly the amount of number we were able to get from 300 crops, but it was pretty dang good. I think it's like 24, 23, 24, something like that. Not quite the 27 that we're after, but I'm hoping with the addition of those two plots over there. Hopefully we'll be able to have at least two loads of 27 big packs for the dealer dude bro bras. I just, I actually can't get over the fact that that just happened. That's happened to me maybe once before. My my hard drive is almost never full. Um, so I should I should probably do an intro for this because I, I did one before, but now I don't have one. So let's do that. So with that out of the way, I suppose we should probably talk about the elephant in the room, and that is our no longer red pick -em up truck. I had this whole little spiel about how my dad, when I was younger, had this really cool single cab Silverado, and it was dark green, just like this. And this is actually the exact color. I just googled GM dark green. And this is the color code that came up. Well, the hex value that came up. So we've, we've switched up a little bit. I personally really like it. Of course, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. But yeah, we've got that thing absolutely loaded up with the goods. So uh, let's, um, let's plant some more plants. And then maybe we can have a good harvest. I'm trying to remember now if anything else happened that was like eventful enough in the initial recording again. If anything happened that was like eventful enough to even talk about? I don't think so. We've really just been kind of running around like a chicken with our head cut off. But, um, you know, we're making good progress. We're doing what we do out here, growing oregano as per usual. No amount of words uh, can, can sum up my feelings right now. Having literally had an entire video like almost done. This was going to be our last harvest, and then we were going to just go to the dealer dude bro bras and uh, and sell to them, of course. Oh, actually, that brings me to another point. Um, you guys haven't seen this at all. Well, you might have seen this one out here, I guess. I did go to the dealer dude bro bras, and I got three, actually all of their harvest baskets uh, that they had to offer. The, the huge harvest baskets, and these things are phenomenal. You can get through at least at least 70, if I remember correctly, um, like crops before you actually have to bring it over and, and empty it out. So those work fantastic. Now I'm just all like, I'm all turned around, dude. I'm, I'm scrambling. I'm scrambling and now I'm rambling because I'm just trying to fill the void that has been left. Unreal, 
Unreal. Hey, as I mentioned in the impromptu intro, uh, if you guys could leave a like on this video, that would be super, super helpful. Especially today, you guys. Good lord. Oh, we gotta go get some maple syrup as well. Soon as we're out, let's do that. We're gonna hop in the old green pick em up truck now. Gonna have to get used to saying that. Not that I ever really called it the red pick em up truck, I suppose. Hopefully our doobage in here currently doesn't do bad things. Back all the way up until we just about hit our garage. We'll head over here. What else? I'm, I'm just really trying to remember like what all I have done already that you guys wouldn't have seen. Um, I, I was running out of the can lids. All right. Oh, my bad. Uh, I was running out of the can lids. We're going to open that and some are going to fall out. Let's just make sure that they don't do that. Uh, so I went and saw our good buddy Eric, and I had to tell him all about how I'm just over making maple syrup. Like we're we're so above that now, you know. We're so we're so much better than maple syrup anymore. We're on to oregano now, you guys. Making big money moves. But I stopped in, talked to him, told him that whole spiel, and then we came back here with lids that's what i bought there that's where that story was going we bought lids from dude and then came back so we weren't gonna keel over and die oh also <laughs> this this whole like start of this video is just me oh also what happened before was xyz um but what did happen before was we went and stopped at the post office so we could pay our bills that way the electricity doesn't get shut off on us again and our bill our electricity bill was 37 dollars like, I actually want to leave that open. That was it. That was it. And I have no idea what we did differently. I suppose... I suppose I, I might have left this light off, actually. So then our only power consumption would have been our deep fryer and our computer. Maybe the radio, too, but I rarely ever turn that on. And then we don't ever use the lights in the garage just because they're extremely bright. Like, way overexposed in there. Oh, I forgot we still had this dude here. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. We got to get back down to business. We about to get down and dirty right here, ladies and gents. It's going to be a lot of waiting around. But in just a few minutes or a few seconds for you guys, we're going to have a fully grown field. And then we're going to have a bunch of doobage. It's, it's going to be pretty sick. Three hours later. Thanks to the power of editing, once again, we now have completely grown crops in our field. Or at least most of them are. They look... Pretty dang good if you ask me. Dude, even though, even though Streamlabs decided to take an absolute fat dump on my day today, I'm not gonna let it get me down. I'm not gonna let it get me down. You bet your sweet bippy, we're still gonna be steady grinding out here. It's not gonna change nothing. And actually, we're gonna have even more seeds. We should have like a thousand seeds, I think, after this is all said and done. So I just need to go around now with our brand spanking new massive harvest basket and uh, collect all of the doobage. Unless, of course, they're infested and I didn't realize it. Then we'll just skip over those ones and uh, we can save them for a rainy day. We should, we should, after all said and done here, have at least two, like, orders to fulfill with our dealers, if you know what I'm saying. Like, two uh, 27 big pack orders, hopefully. I guess we'll uh, we'll find out here in due time. But have a look at how much you can harvest with just one of these huge baskets. You guys, we would have been in and out of the house with the tiny little small one that we've been using like at least 100 times by the time that this field is completely cropped. Let's just get it set up nicely. Right side up. There we go. On to the next. And actually, I've been being a bit too methodical, I think, about my uh, harvest process here. You can pretty much just spam click your way through the entirety of the field, and you'll probably harvest 99% of them. I'm sure you might leave one, but it's way faster if you do this, that's for sure. With our first crop, I didn't quite have enough seeds to actually plant all 500 of the plots. So originally, and again, this would have been in that initial recording, we planted and harvested just the 300. I don't know if I said that yet or not, but um, now we actually do have enough seeds. So I'm really curious to see if we can fill all three of these harvest baskets now. This one's been empty the whole time. 
hasn't even seen any doobage. Now we have three huge harvest baskets completely full. So the last thing we have, the only thing we can do now at this point, is use our little tiny guy and see how many extra plants we can actually get. I don't think it's going to be much. And just like that, we're full. All right, so let's head back into the house. Um, and then let's start, you know, transforming this oregano, totally legit oregano, into uh, some doobage. How many do I need? Just one more? That should be 10, and then we can package it up. That's boring. That's boring. I just wanna I just wanna fill our little living room here with as many of these packs as we possibly can. Just the singles, and then we'll go through and like actually like bound them together or bind them together with that. I'm not gonna turn on any tunes. I thought about it. Let's just let's just get this over with, man. I am cutting it super close right here, you guys. Okay, I don't even care. I don't even care. I, I hit a wall, but it's fine. I need maple syrup so bad. No! No, I died of dehydration. Hey, you know what? It's cool. It's cool, right? Don't even matter. It, it don't even matter none. You know why? Because we are absolutely just swimming in pre-rolls, you guys. Look at this. It's it's actually ridiculous. And tell you the truth, we have 8% in there. Oh, no. Each thing needs to be at least like 10%, I think. But uh, let's see if we can roll one more. See if I can spot the grinder. No. Okay, so let's just get packaging then. We've got to wait a couple of seconds here anyways to let our death set in, I guess. I took the walk of shame over to the sugar shack to retrieve our pickup truck, and I was so distracted by that that I completely forgot. You guys, we still have probably, I don't know, 60, maybe, maybe a bit less than that, plants over there that still need harvested. So I was kind of under the impression that Everything we have here in our house was it. Like, that's as much as we were going to get. But I was wrong. So let's head out there once again. We will uh, crop the rest of this entire field. And then we'll probably be making our way to the dealer. I say probably because something else could come up. You never know. I kind of stopped counting how many we actually had inside of our truck. I want to say we had 24 originally, like from the initial recording. Now I have no idea. Hopefully it's 54 or is that is that 27 times 2? Sounds right. It's probably it's probably close enough, but I think we deserve at the very least one of these. A good old one of these. You know what? It's just been one of those days. It's just been one of those days. We'll burn it down till it's right at the filter and then we'll chuck it away. Unreal, you guys. I just I can't even begin to tell you how I feel about today it was rough it was rough but these things happen from time to time you know can't do anything about it except maybe clearing out my hard drive with old recordings you know what i'm saying just making sure i have plenty of space for my new stuff i could probably do that look at this all right let's go ahead and make our way now to the dealer dude bro bras i think Actually, they don't open until they don't open until 10. Let's let's have a little snooze. Let's have a little snooze before we go and then I think they'll probably be ready for us. Okay, this is it you guys, our big moment. With any luck, we'll have all the doobage that we need and then we can actually, you know, buy the bunker. <laughs> it would be pretty cool if we could buy the bunker today. I'm going to turn on some beats though. And we're just gonna cruise. Just me, you, the open road, some beats that I can't really make out because the truck is surprisingly loud today for whatever reason. Actually, what's the volume at? 21, that's, that's pretty high. Oh my good lord. We're good. We're good. Let's just keep on trucking, literally. Oh yeah, I'm leaving this uncut, ladies and gents, uncut. We need some filler, okay? If I don't include the entirety of this, it's gonna be like a five minute episode, if that. Oh, please, God, no. That was way too close. That was way too close. I'm gonna try to go slower around the corners. Ooh, this a bop, dude. This a bop. Any song that starts off with A, you know it's a bop. You already know. There's another one, two A's? Oh yeah, no, I actually, I actually know this one. 
Not like the lyrics, but I've heard it before. It's a very fitting song, no? A little bit. All right, we don't need anything in town, so we're just gonna keep on keeping on. Just scoot right on through here. I should probably check to see if we have any bills. Maybe not. We just paid them last week. I'm sure we're probably fine for at least one more. There's Mr. Bonjour. Good to see you, my friend. Oh, also, um, I did stop at... I gotta turn the radio off just for a sec. I did stop at Melanie's um, in the previous recording once again, but she wasn't open. I do need to go back there and get more of that uh, pesticide spray, though. Especially if we're gonna have the bunker after this. Probably gonna need some down there. Probably gonna need some up on the surface. I don't know if it's smart of us to like grow both above ground and in the bunker, but I might try it. Like we, we could get even more money if we do it that way, so might as well. Granted, after we purchase the bunker, we really have no use for, for money at that point. Like we have nothing else to buy. Of course, whenever the next update comes out, there could be something else for us to purchase, maybe? I guess we'll have to wait and see, but we're just about there. We're just going to keep on cruising in. The best song, you guys. The best song. It's probably really loud. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I would, um, I would totally put it into four-wheel drive, except for the fact that all of these big packs are kind of in our way. Oh, I remember, dude, I keep, I just keep remembering stuff that I did four hours ago or, or three hours ago. But um, when we initially came out here to purchase those three huge harvest baskets, I was tempted. I was tempted. Please slow down. I'm gonna turn this down just a just a scooch, just a, just a little. There we go. Uh, but I was really tempted to buy the huge uh, Packer machine. It's like twenty some odd thousand dollars. I figured it's probably a good investment, but I decided against it because if you think about it, all it really does is just save you some time. Like it's not really gonna make you more money. It might make you a little bit more money faster maybe I guess but if you guys remember with the circle over here you do have to take these individually one by one and toss them into this circle so I think with the huge packager it might be a little bit easier in that you could oh don't go too far uh, in that you could essentially just grab one huge pack and throw that in the circle instead of all these little tiny guys and that's probably not even going to count is it nope didn't, didn't quite get it there. All right, that is one. Thank you for updating. So let's just start chucking them on in there. We'll see if we actually have 54 of these things or not. Otherwise, we're not gonna be getting the bunker today. This should be 27 for you guys. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So there's $10,000. We're looking good. We're up to 36K. Oh, I didn't mean to jump in the seat there. So let's try again. We'll see if we can get uh, 10,000 more. To my surprise, we actually have a little bit over the 54 needed. So that should be 27, there we go. Another 10,000 Gs. It's a shame we can't just sell them what else we have with us right now, but that's cool. Ain't nothing but a thing. So we'll make our way inside now with 46,000 buckaroonies. They do still appear to be open. What's going on, my fellow stone bros? Anything to say to us? No. Pretty much the same exact thing as last time. Can we use your suspicious vase? No? Okay. Well, that's cool. Anyways, I'm just here to buy this, gentlemen. Thanks for your... C confiance? Huh? <laughs> that's... Hey, that's too big of a word for your boy, all right? Wait, we'll take around six or seven nights to build. Nobody told me that. Are you kidding? Is there anything else in here that we can actually purchase right now? I don't think so. No, 25000 for the huge packager. They do restock these, I guess, every business day, but 
I don't ever think we would need more than three, at least not right now anyways. Cool. Okay, well, I'm going to go sleep for six or seven nights. And then maybe after that, we'll uh, have a pretty sick bunker to check out. It's only the next day. We got the school bus driving by. What's going on? Happy to see you today. Um, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to hear this or not. Actually, you probably can. All I hear out here underneath our current field is just nothing but construction noises. And lots of them. Now, unfortunately, a handful of you guys did already spoil the secret little opening and stuff for the underground bunker. We're going to be coming in here, clicking on the drain for our tub. This is then going to lift up and we're going to be able to have access into our bunker. So I'm not going to be able to have a genuine reaction to how cool this probably looks, but I, I guess I could I could fake it. We'll see. Got a few more days to go, though. One week has gone by in the blink of an eye, quite literally, uh, especially for you guys. Me, I've been kind of sitting around, you know, just doing what we do. But now we're actually going to be able to check out our new bunker. The bathroom door actually works now. Dude, I didn't even see anyone up here. Okay, at least I at least I could have an actual reaction just for the door. Just for the door, really. But there has been some bloodshed for this thing, you guys. We we actually died for this. I need maple syrup so bad. No! For real. You guys saw it. Or maybe you didn't. Who knows? Why is it... Why is it so dark? Why is it so dark? Do we... Oh, we do have lights. Look at this. Oh, and we have speakers galore, dude. Everywhere. Good deal. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have... Well, we obviously have some ventilation system in place. But it looks like we're gonna have an automatic watering system as well, which is very... Very nice. Here we have the radio. Okay, it was just it was just turned way down. It was just turned way down. Maybe if we get closer to the speakers. There it is. There it is. Oh man, I love it. I love it. Okay, what else do we have? Um next automatic watering time. Oh, that's kind of nice. Okay, so we're going to be able to set what time it waters at. That's really, really cool. Manually start watering. Okay, so we got like an override switch. Auto watering is on. And then irrigation system is what that says. Auto fertilizer? What? Where does... Oh, that gets piped in with the water. Okay, so we actually might want to invest in... Um, I got to turn that off. Uh, we might actually want to invest in the fertilizer stuff. I know we have one back at our cottage, but I don't think we can get one at our house. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the one that's for sale in the dealer's place is the one that we can buy for here. We're starting off with three little outdoor, even though this is technically indoor, planter boxes. And I think all we have to do is just kind of scatter these things around. You know, we can put one here, put one just to the left of that and so on and so forth. Obviously, you guys know me, I would make them way better aligned than that and probably place them like under each shower head, I would think. I don't know if that actually matters or not. Maybe you guys can fill me in. It would be super, super helpful. But there you guys have it. We now have a bunker that we can grow 100% oregano in. So I think that's probably where we're going to wind this episode down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.